In this podcast episode, Dr. Tommy Wood discusses the confusion surrounding health and the mixed messages people receive about what is good or bad for them. He aims to cut through the confusion and provide clarity on some important health topics, starting with alcohol. Alcohol consumption has been a topic of debate in the health community with conflicting information about its impact on health. According to Tommy, moderate alcohol consumption was previously thought to be associated with better health outcomes, particularly in relation to cardiovascular disease. However, recent studies have shown that while a small amount of alcohol intake may be associated with lower risk of cardiovascular disease, it can also be balanced by a slightly higher risk of certain cancers. Overall, the impact of moderate alcohol consumption on health outcomes, particularly in terms of longevity, was, is inconclusive. Additionally, excessive alcohol consumption can have detrimental effects on brain health and overall well-being. When it comes to caffeine, the conversation shifts to its potential benefits and drawbacks. Tommy explains that moderate caffeine consumption, particularly from coffee and tea, has been associated with improved health outcomes, including lower risk of liver disease and Alzheimer's disease. However, excessive caffeine intake can negatively affect sleep, cognitive function, and overall performance, particularly on complex tasks. The impact of caffeine on an individual's health is influenced by factors such as genetics, stress levels, and the specific context in which it is consumed. The discussion then turns to the topic of sugar and its role in the diet. Tommy emphasizes that the quantity and context of sugar consumption are crucial factors in determining its impact on health. While sugar itself is a source of energy, consuming excessive amounts of sugar from processed foods can lead to various health issues, including fatty liver disease and metabolic disturbances. The processing of foods, particularly the extraction of sugar from its natural context in fruits and other whole foods, can alter the way the body responds to sugar, leading to potential overconsumption and negative health effects. Dr. Wood also addresses the issue of blood sugar spikes, noting that most carbohydrates are converted into glucose, leading to temporary increases in blood sugar. While managing blood sugar is important, he highlights the challenges of predicting individual responses to different foods. He suggests focusing on reducing overall caloric intake and improving diet quality as a more effective approach to managing blood sugar. The conversation then shifts to the topic of protein intake. Dr. Wood emphasizes that many people may be consuming insufficient protein, particularly as they age. He recommends a range of 1.2 to 1.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight with the actual amount depending on individual factors such as height and activity level. He also dispels the myth that high-protein diets are harmful to kidney function, stating that there is no evidence to support this claim for individuals with normal kidney function. When discussing exercise and movement, Dr. Wood emphasizes the importance of finding sustainable ways to incorporate physical activity into daily life. He encourages individuals to engage in any form of movement that is more than what they are currently doing. He explains that the intensity and duration of physical activity can vary, with the key factor being the total amount of work performed over time. Whether it's brisk walking, resistance training, or high-intensity interval training, Dr. Wood stresses that consistency and progression are crucial for reaping the benefits of exercise. For individuals who are already active, Dr. Wood recommends incorporating resistance training into their routine to further enhance their overall health. He highlights the importance of applying resistance to the muscles through weightlifting or other forms of strength training. Dr. Wood believes that resistance training is essential for maintaining muscle mass, strength, and overall physical function, especially as people age. Dr. Wood introduces the concept of a movement pyramid, emphasizing the importance of spending less time sitting, increasing walking, and incorporating resistance training. He highlights the benefits of movement snacks, such as short walks or quick exercises throughout the day, and the positive impact of brisk walking on overall health. He discusses the benefits of HE as an add-on to other forms of exercise, highlighting its impact on cardiovascular health and physiological adaptations. 
He stresses the importance of intensity and duration in achieving the desired benefits from HIIT. He also explores the potential trade-offs of having significant muscle mass, particularly in the context of longevity. He discusses the balance between muscle mass and strength, emphasizing the importance of functional muscle and strength relative to overall muscle mass. Dr. Wood expresses his support for creatine supplementation, citing its diverse benefits, including improvements in cognitive performance, strength, muscle function, and bone health. He recommended creatine monohydrate as a cost-effective and safe option for most individuals. He goes on to underscore the significance of certain nutrients, such as vitamin B and vitamin D, in supporting overall health. He shares the potential impact of nutrient deficiencies on cognitive function, mood, and physical performance, emphasizing the need for adequate supplementation when necessary. Throughout the conversation, Dr. Wood emphasizes the importance of understanding health recommendations in the context of individual needs and circumstances. He highlights the need to consider factors such as stress, sleep, and diet quality in addition to exercise and supplementation.